right, guys, let's do a little pull right here. Ready? Here we go. This car is literally so much fun, man. I love it. Literally cannot wait to get to doing mods to the Speed 3. It's gonna be so nice. But the Dull Soul first, and then we'll focus on the Speed 3 afterwards. Still super excited though, so I can't wait guys. Stay tuned. So by the title of this video, we're gonna get straight into it. You guys already know this is gonna be a Q&A video. A nice, just simple, chill Q&A. Haven't done this in a while, so I figured, hey, why not go ahead and do it? So I did go ahead and post that Instagram story stating for you guys to drop questions, leave questions for me to answer in a Q&A video. Chill vlog, no car meets today or anything like that. Um, we are gonna do something to the dull soul, so definitely stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and start off with the first question to kick off this Q&A. What are your suggestions for a good first car for someone that's new in the scene to get? Honestly, it's kind of hard now due to the fact that the whole car market is totally messed up now. Like, pretty much everything is expensive, so I can't really give any, but if I was to, I'll definitely say like an IS300 because for some reason IS300, especially the auto ones, they're not as expensive right now. The manual ones, sure, they're gonna like go up to like 9, 10k. The auto ones you can get for like a really good price and it's rear wheel drive, four doors, so it is a good choice. You can also go with like a base uh, RSX. Also, I think a BRZ is like really good for a first car because rear wheel drive, you know, it's like sporty enough looking. Um, it's not the fastest, which is good. You can learn and practice on that, and then the aftermarket support is massive for that. So that would probably be my biggest recommendation. All right, so next question someone asked, do you like car meets or car shows better? Um, I actually like, if I had to choose, obviously hands down car shows over car meets. Like car meets are cool and all, but I feel like especially what's been going on, you know, with the whole car scene lately, with this whole like takeovers, and just like people just acting like absolute like knobs. Car meets are just they're they can be good but once it gets later and later in the night like that's when like you know idiots start to really pop up and just start like destroying the meat shows are pretty much just more organized compared to car meets car meets is just like anybody can come and even if they say no two-stepping no burnouts people are still gonna do it anyway right so definitely uh car shows over car meets best first three mods without a doubt best first three mods to do wheels suspension and exhaust those are the three things i would do first personally wheels and suspension just makes the car look absolutely different and just looks 10 times better you know most cars look better when they're lowered so definitely lower wheels and an exhaust just to add that little you know engagement and like excitement when driving so i definitely recommend those three things and what would you say to someone who is just getting into cars or just starting modifying their cars first thing i would say is just to take your time and have fun with it if there's one thing i learned guys is patience is a virtue like honestly just take your time have fun with it because one thing is once you're like modify your car to the point where there's not really much else you can do to it it kind of gets boring after a while because it's not really new you can put on your car so definitely enjoy it enjoy the process the wait is always worth it i guarantee you that's why i'm not like rushing the dull soul or the speed three i'm just taking my time with it because i'm just enjoying the process so enjoy the process that's the main thing i would say all right here's another one when are we getting another rate my followers or subscribers video well guys i never knew so much of you guys would actually like it because a lot of people were asking like after i posted that video like a lot of people dm me and were like yo when's the next one i want to put my car in and all that stuff which i will make another one guys i promise how much power are you looking to make in the speed 3 for power wise with this car honestly this is like a fun daily driver so keep that in mind i'm not looking for any like crazy power the most i'll probably go with the speed 3 is anywhere from like 350 to 400 i think 400 i would not go more than that if you could travel anywhere where would it be right now and why uh if i could travel anywhere right now it would definitely be cali right now because i definitely want to check out the car scene there the car scene is just so massive they're like they have so much strict laws yes i know but at the same time for such a place with such strict laws there is so many car enthusiasts in cali and i just want to like 
see what the whole scene is about there because I heard great things. I also heard bad things. Obviously, there's good and bad, but I just, I really want to go so bad. And I also want to meet Chris Borges, guys. That's one thing, too. Like, I really just want to go to Cali and just really just meet new people also. And just, like, I don't know, see what happens. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up moving there. All right, so someone asked, besides the new BRZ, what is another car you're looking to get? That's very interesting. Honestly, if, it was, if it's not the 2022 BRZ, GR86, whatever you want to call it. Um, I definitely like settle with a Type R, a 335i, a 370z. I feel like would be super cool as well. I'd really like to own one of those cars. Would you ever get a Euro car? Well, as I just said in the previous question, yes, I would own a Euro. Maybe sometime in the future. Definitely, I don't really see myself owning those anytime soon. What would be your dream garage? Honestly, I don't have a dream garage. For me personally, what I would want in a garage is to have w at least one of like each different category of car. So like a muscle car, a Euro car, um, a JDM car, obviously a supercar or a hyper car. Like I just want one of each. All cars are different and you know, I don't know. You never know what you might fall in love with. What is next for those supply? So for those supply, uh, I still do have stickers and jet tags available if you guys do want some. So, you know, plug it, those supply.com. Go check it out or the Instagram, those supply. For those supply, I do have a lot of stuff planned I want to do. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys want next? I'm kind of thinking making like windshield banners or like t-shirts. So I don't know, which one would you guys like more? Will you be doing any more ride along videos or car review videos? Um, I definitely want to do more, but I've just been like so busy and stuff. Like I've just had my mind focused on so much other stuff right now that I haven't even got around to doing it. The, the only person I've done like and had like a ride along with was uh, Akeem and his 335i. So I definitely want to do more. So whoever does, want to do like a little car review a little like i don't know ride along and just talk about cars um hit me up let me know because i would definitely like to do them oh here's a cool question um where do you see yourself five years from now so honestly i try not to really think about that but the one main thing if there's anything that i can see myself within the next five years or three years is to just like fully have my own business to fully like just run those supply and just like live off of that like to be able to just make good parts and good like apparel and even get to the point of like making like actual like car parts and stuff like that i feel like that would be super cool but that's my main thing is to just be like an entrepreneur be my own boss and just like kill it doing that <laughs> all right guys it's getting late so i'm probably just gonna do like two more questions and then we'll save the rest for like another q a video so this is a question i actually am excited to answer um someone asked for the dull soul what engine do you want to put inside the car after the d series this is what i'm really stuck on guys because a lot of people are like yes go k swap do k swap and all that stuff but at the same time i kind of wanted to do a b series swap because also it's easier it's just you can just drop it right in instead of cutting off the mounts and switching over to the other side like with the k and all that i still don't mind doing that obviously but i'm stuck between rather doing the k24 or to do the b18c i think it is yeah so i'm stuck between those two uh, i'm not sure which one i want to do um which regardless of which one i get I do want to boost it. So if I get the K24, I'm going to boost it. If I get the Type R motor, I'm going to boost it. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just stuck between the two. I keep switching. So I don't know. You guys let me know which one you guys would like to see inside the Dell Soul. All right, guys. So for the final question, I'm going to answer in this video. What's your favorite car? The one you've always liked and can see yourself owning and why. The car that I've always seen myself owning is a Koenigsegg Agera R. And I know it sounds crazy, right? Cause those cars are like in the millions, but I don't know why, like ever since I've like first ever seen that car, like that's just been a car that's been implanted into my head as like, when I get that car, I know that like I succeeded like in like my life man something about the Kunisega Gera R is just like I don't know it's just beautifully crafted like the engineering in that is just insane they're fast they sound so good they look incredible the doors that like 
they like go up like Lambledores, but I also like slide up. It just looks so good. Always had like little like visions or like little dreams about like, I don't know, just being on like a hill inside the Konaseka Gera and watching the sunset while I'm just like chilling inside, like just thinking about like, damn, I actually made it. All right, guys, so that's pretty much um, it for today's video. It's actually getting pretty dark out. You guys can't really see, but you know, it looks light in the camera, but it's actually a lot darker out here. So I, uh, I'm definitely just gonna go ahead and get home because it is getting dark and I have work early in the morning. So I gotta be ready for the next day. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I definitely will be making more of these videos. Of course, I love doing these things, hearing your guys' questions and answering them. It's just like a good like little communication between me and you guys without further ado guys i will catch you guys in the next one be sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out stay humble stay blessed peace